All right, so say you want to actually solve a quadratic equation when you may have some imaginary roots. And what that means is you're going to end up with a negative underneath your square root. So let's go ahead and try solving example three here. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to subtract 20 to both sides. And when we do that, we get a 5y squared equals negative 20. Um, once we're done at that point, we need to divide each side by 5. And something to keep in mind is whenever you have a y squared, that means you're going to actually have two answers. So now, typically, once you get to this point, we would say, well, this is not possible because you can't ever square anything, any number, to get a negative. Well, that's true in order to get a negative real number. But in this case, we're not just talking about real things. We're talking about fake things, also known as imaginary. So in order to get rid of a, a square, we need to square root both sides. So we're going to say y equals a plus or minus, and you have a square root of negative 4. Now we must simplify this because this negative is going to come out as how, how, how? as an i, yes, that is correct. But then that leaves us with a square root of four. Well, we know the square root of four is a two. So we're gonna have a plus or minus two i for your solution. And that gives you two answers because you have, the plus or minus means you have two answers because you have a positive two i and a negative two i.